Good morning, everybody, to this uh, Saturday morning here. Uh, what we're going to be making today is these beautiful boxes. Look at these boxes, aren't they lovely? Diamonds, diamonds, diamond boxes. But once you've got the main template, uh, you can do different things with it. For example, like this one here. I just love this one. It's beautiful. We'll go through some different connotations in a minute. But I just love that one. Anyway, let me show you. Let's have a quick welcome. Hello, Chuck, everybody. We're doing diamonds today. And you know what? Diamonds are forever, forever, forever. That was me, Shirley Temple. Oh, no, not me, Shirley Bassey. <laughs> no, I want to see Shirley Temple now. On the good, good ship, ship lollipop. There's a good pink, where the pink pop. I don't know the words. It's not my era. Not very hip hop. We're not very down with the kids, are we? Anyway, let's carry on. Anyway, sim we had a message yesterday saying, oh, that looks a bit hard to make, a bit complicated. It's not. It's really, really simple. Anyway, you need to print off the two main templates. You've got a top and you've got a bottom. They're almost identical, but your bottom's a little bit smaller than your top. It's not something you can say about Barry. Um, what are you sat there giggling for? You sat there giggling, sat there and little schoolboy giggle because I said bottom and top. Look at your face, you're just holding it in now, you're going to explode like that fella in that, the meaning of life or whatever it was, Mr. Gut Bucket. Anyway, you've got this, you've got the top and you've also got the bottom there. Print those down a really thin piece of paper. Then you've also got a choice of some of the uh, backgrounds. Now we're going to be making it in this gold as well. If you've got some gold just, card. Just quiet! Quiet on the floor, please. <laughs> you've got some of this beautiful gold card if you want to use something like that. But you can use virtually anything. I'm going to use a combination. I'm going to use the gold on the top and I'm going to use that on the back side of it or the bottom of it, the inside. So you've got gold, if you've got some gold card, silver or whatever you want to use, you can use. Then you've got these different ones, I'll just move that. I've given you some background papers, I've just printed these onto a 160 card, like so. You've got that one there with the beautiful diamonds on. You've got this nice goldy one, goldy red coloured one. You've got another diamond with a kind of a green effect in there as well. You've got this one, this diamond, like a white diamond, but very pale. So depending on what you want to do, you can do different things. You've got this beautiful blue one with this strong white uh, diamond effect. And you've also got this one. It's almost like a feathery gold. Now, you're very, very lucky, you lot, because this is actually from a new range that we launched on alanandbarry.com called the gems what they call spectacular gems gorgeous gems gorgeous gems but we're giving you a little a little taste from tiny that taste, set tiny taste. a tiny taste from that set um, but if you want to have a look at that you can do as well so these are the papers or the cards that you can print out uh, you're going to need to print out your background your templates your top and your bottom I'm going to be using some gold card as well. It's up to you. And uh, you need to use a, a really good glue for sticking them together. So I'll give you time to actually print those out and uh, get ready and come back in a few minutes. Uh, well, I'll come back in a few minutes and start to show you how to make those beautiful boxes. Okay, tutelur for now. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we're all organized here. Well, Alan isn't. He had to go back and get his craft kit. Got all the way here and forgot it. Bless. <laughs> name and shame, name and shame. Can you hear that? Ah. Right, first thing I'm going to do is I've put my two templates together. I'm just going to roughly cut around the outside. Did you come to my face by any I chance? Did, did you? Because mm -hmm. I don't want to miss this. No, everybody wants to miss that. What do you mean? You look like Noah. This is, anyway, this is a very simple uh, way of doing it. Now, you can see one's got top and one's got bottom on it. When you're trimming this out, try to keep the top and bottom on. It's amazed how confused you can get just that by the simplest things. I'm going to make a basic box like that, a diamond box. And then secondly, I'm going to show another one 
which has got uh, the apertures in. But first of all, we're just going to do the basic one. So first of all, I like to do my top first. And that is simple, just position that onto the piece of card that you've got without wasting any, any of the cards. See, I can cut that off the bottom there and use that in a separate uh, demonstration. So, as normal, just take a little bit of masking tape and just stick this down onto the uh, onto the. Uh, Don't forget to use your monitor. You've got one there. I know I've got one. Been whinging for months about having one. Now you've got one. Mm -hmm. There you go. I've got a monitor now. I can actually see what I'm doing. There you go. I'm just roughly sticking those down. Now, just before we started, I was frantically looking for my embossing tool. But don't worry if you haven't got one. You can also use a biro, uh, a ballpoint pen, especially one that's not working anymore. So you see all the dotted lines on here. All you've got to do is crease, make an indentation. Just take your ruler and just run through there like that. I'm just using the pen now. That will give enough indentation into the card so when you come to folding it, you can fold it easy. And again, just score down there all right so i'm going to make this from start to finish so you might have to put up with me all right i'll just leave you to it for a minute yeah there you go i'm just cutting this up just scoring through here i say i'm using my pen just as an example to show you that you don't need a embossing tool if you haven't got one you don't need to go to the expense of that do you so let's just, all the dotted lines, just score through. Don't know if we can see on the other side. No, you can't really see. I can't see very well, but you can, you'll not be able to see. I'm rambling, aren't I? I told you before, I don't like Saturday morning. Don't wake up till about one o'clock. Well, in truth, my slimming, my slimming, my slimming tablets, that was a fraudulent slip. My sleeping tablets don't wear off till about one o'clock which is unfortunate makes me a little oh oh dopey can I just slap you no well you can but you might get a slap back you have to catch me first oh god well that's easy you'll get your backside caught in the door on the way out <laughs> right i've scored all the way around there now now all i've got to do don't forget where's my scissors gone have you had my scissors no, no. There they are. no well this bit of gold card you can cut out ready to use on a separate one. Could you just check my gang have got uh, masking tape? Have you got masking tape in there? Yes, you have, good. You don't need to shout because they can hear you. Oh yeah, they can hear me on the TV. Right, there you go, I've cut that out. Now, all I've got to do is cut the rest of it out. And I'm just cutting where all of the straight lines are. That means going around the edge here like so. so if you want to send in a message we can oh yeah please send any messages in if anything you don't quite understand do send us a message and we'll try and answer it for you so i'm just cutting well, if you around vote Alan off, you know. feel oh, free no, not, get a lie in no, it's not, I'm a celebrity. the alternative is having barry good that help you what what are you laughing at i know I'm accurate as well. Yeah, I know it will be too. Get used to it. You had a little salt yesterday, didn't you? I did. Bless him. So I'm just cutting this around. Can you all see it on the TV in there? Yeah. We've got a monitor in there so they can follow it. Mm, yeah. That's provided by? Barre. Okay. Mm, there you go, I'm cutting that through. Right, so, now don't forget, if you have a piece of card like this as well, if you want, you can also print any of those designs that we've given you in the download on the opposite side. So you've got like a two-sided card, one that will be gold, and one that will be printed in any of the designs that you fancy. And also on that note, any of the designs that we've given you for Christmas projects can also be used on this project as well. So, theoretically... I've made my top, I've cut it all out there like that and all I've got to do now is just take that off and I don't know if you can see that, 
yeah you can probably see all the lines underneath that's where you naturally fold them so then all you've got to do is literally fold them all and fold over like so now I use uh, you could use the back of a ballpoint pen but I've got one of these uh, uh, what do they call boning tools here so all the creases just fold over and it will naturally fold over where you went with the what do they, they were probably out of made out of bone at some point. I don't know. I'm not given an answer that I don't know the answer to. But you want a nice, good, clean, crisp fold on these. Like that. Well, after Christmas, we're going to have one or two little live competitions on the show. Oh, yeah. And also, don't forget, next week is going to be a bumper download set for you for christmas and the week after that i won't be here but i may be i may be uh doing it live from italy mm, we've got a special one if not we've got a recorded show so you can see exactly what i was going to make but the inspiration came from italy and if we can we'll try and do it in the location mm. that the project was designed for mm. maybe we don't know yet depends if we've got a an internet, a why an internet uh, connection or not? Well, as long as my phone's working, you never know, do you? And it is on the Amalfi Coast. I might, you might, you might get a shot of me and my budgie smugglers. God. <laughs> there you go. I've done all the folds there. Everything's ready to assemble. So it's, as you can see, it's so easy. You've taken the template, printed that off onto a thin paper. You've creased where all the dotted lines are one disadvantage of using a ballpoint pen that you uh, is working when you draw over it it kind of makes the the dotted lines joined up so it gets a bit more confusing to cut out anyway you can see that now that template you can use again if you want and just keep on using it until it's all completely knackered really uh, then I've got my glue, my trusty glue. Oh, this is a new one, so I need to t snip the end off. Like so. And then it's just a question. I like to start down here at the bottom, but you can do it any way you want. Just a little bit of glue on there. Oh, it'd help if I took the seal off, wouldn't it? I should watch me on videos occasionally. There you go, take the seal off. No, you don't want what? Are you suggesting I've got mucky videos? No, I'm suggesting that's right. your mind, not mine. Well, you said you shouldn't, didn't want to watch those. No, because they're boring. What do you mean, they're boring? <laughs> Cheeky so-and-so. It's boring now, I can't get my lip off. Mm -hmm. This is when you need... I can't, oh, I hate nails. I have to cut mine. Well, the vacuum dish and that watch your struggle. Just been, if in doubt, just plunge something in there. Yeah, now it's all mucky. Not doing well, am I? Are they back remember, with me? Do you remember Mucky Margaret? Mucky, oh, Mucky Margaret? Yeah, the chocolate. Lady. Oh, yeah, she was always covered in. Oh, oh no. She, no, she's long gone now. Oh, has she? Don't worry. What, the ones you used to pick her nose and then serve her sweets? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, never bought sweets off that one, I can no. tell you. No. Right, I've taken my seal off. Silly moi. Well, it was a new bottle, wasn't it? Right. Let's get back to the demonstration. Uh, just a what? Demonstration. Just a little smear of glue. You don't want it too much. You don't want it oozing everywhere. Don't forget, put your top on. Just you don't have to screw it on, but if you go in in between, you know. And then just hold those together. And with this glue, you've got some wiggle time, which allows you to get it exactly in position. And then you just hold that together, and then. Let that dry. Doesn't take too long. You see that's in position now. Because the glue's got a great grip, holds it in position while it dries. What I like to do is just do that and then just wait a few minutes and then do the next one. I do the alternative one. So I do this one here. Let me show you that. Uh, just a little bit of glue there. So this is not pulling on this one here straining it uh, I put the next one there so this one I can do later on and again just hold it together wiggle time hold that and let that dry so you just do that all 
you do all of that and just go all the way around and you've got the bottom of your box so i'll tell you what you come back it'll take me a few minutes you don't want to watch glue dry do you really anyway i'm going to do that anyway listen I'll come back in a few minutes five minutes maybe i'll show you the finished box it's just gluing it together and then do the top the bottom as well do exactly the same with the bottom and then um you'll have the finished box and then i'll show you the next version where you can cut out all the apertures all right then to half an hour i'll carry on gluing there you go uh welcome back everybody i've stuck my uh, top together there as you can see uh, it's nice and secure very very good and i've cut the bottom out as well i don't have confused these up but i'll know by sticking them together that's just a question of just putting those two together like that oh, it's just the outside oh, that's the inside definitely there you go looks a bit like a superman doesn't it a superman symbol put a big s on that so there's your basic template there that your box your diamond box you could stand it like that you could have it as a christmas tree that'd make a nice christmas tree wouldn't it stood like that um you could hang it that way full of goodies on the christmas tree you could have it stood like that you could give diamond diamonds are forever oh i've got carried away again anyway there's the basic box now you can take it one step forward if you're keeping up let's get that back on there you can see there back on there there's me diamond make great earrings bit of bet lynch right now i've started cutting the next one out the next version now the template you see is it's got this diamond patchwork effect in it as well so basically i've done the same thing i've scored it so it's all ready to fold when i cut it out before you cut it out completely though you need to cut out all these sections now if you're very careful you can use these sections again on another one so just literally i've got a cutting board underneath and i'm just taking a scalpel and i'm just going to put that through there gently always watch your fingers but if you can cut this as accurately as possible let's say you can decorate another box with it in a different way or you could use them on a card or something something really nice so i'm just scoring through here usually try and use a, a sharp knife if you can sharper it is easier it is obviously so that's just cutting out there like that i think that's enough so you can see that that's come off there i don't need that but that's going to come out perfectly and that with the other ones i'm going to use later on so i want you to get to, if you want to make a second one this is the next version of it with the apertures cutting out now i'm going to do another version of, of it this is the base this is the base here which i've already started to cut out now i've done that on a piece of card that i printed onto with this lovely gold design just plain 160 gram card you can use 200 250 whatever you want and i've done all the folds in folds so instead of it being this way so that's going to be the outside this is now going to be the inside so i'm just folding everything over and making the base of the box so that when you put the top on it you'll see this beautiful interior so if you want to start making the second box uh, with the apertures now we have got a little bit of acetate as well we're going to put on the inside there then you've got a box filling with chocolates or whatever you want to do great for christmas anyway i'll show you some versions towards the end of what you can do so once you've finished your box and you want to move on with the next version with an aperture in just do it in your own time but i shall just be filming it going through but don't forget you can watch the repeats anytime you want and if you've got any questions just leave a message here on get creative barry will be monitoring and share and share and, share. and please share it with as many people as you can and don't forget we do have the full course as it was week over by week hours. over six hours of demonstrations on the get creative there and every demonstration has got it 
free downloads for you to use anytime you want so you're building it up and building it up and building it up so you're not only just building up different techniques and different designs and that templates uh it's great and we're going all over the world now aren't we, we are. yeah we're wigan you wish i was well i will be in two weeks time i'll be in italy see ya bye ciao Anyway, I'll leave you to get on with it and I'll come back and give you show you a little update on what we've been doing. All right, Chucks. There you go, you can see anyway, we've made the box. We've got that far. There's the box. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, off your phone. Uh, Welcome back, well, everybody. You asked me to find the names. No, oh, well, I yes, yes, now you're now your camera controller. You can go back to admin in a minute. So we've made the box. We've made the traditional uh, diamond box and uh what we're going to do what we're doing now as you can see is right let's carry on with this so i'm doing the aperture one now i've used the same template as you can see and i've cut out all of the apertures which i've saved i'm going to use in another one in a minute now all i've got left to do so you do the do, do the line work first then you do the cutouts and then you cut the complete thing out this way it makes it much easier to keep it all together so there's the final bit there that I'm cutting out of my box. So all I've got to do now is crease that and stick that together like the other box. Little tip here though, if you fold it over like that, you need to fold down like so. Now, if you fold from the outside, you see you've got a very thin little bit of card there, which could easily get damaged. So just be careful when you're folding over and then press down with your boning tool or some other implement that'll flatten it. There you go, that started like that. But if you're having a bit of trouble with that, one way of doing it is to hold a ruler up against where the crease is, like so, just getting this in the right place. Hold the ruler down and then lifting this up, just press it in like that like so and you'll find that it will fold much easier if you're having problems with do using just your fingers that will give you the perfect fold there so i want you to if you're doing these just carry on folding and then sticking as well what i've also done is the base now i've pre-done that one and what i had as you saw before was just a piece of card which I'd printed with one of the designs, I'm just getting the design, printed with one of the designs on just to some 160 gram card there. And instead of folding it outwards, I'm folding it inwards so the inside will be visible there. So I've already made the bottom of the box using that piece of card. And I've uh, that's the template for that. And then this one, I'm just going to carry on folding and sticking so i'll let you carry on with that and i'll come back in a minute and uh, we'll show you the next stage all right turn off for now so now as you can see i've stuck my aperture box together here the diamond box it's got the aperture there i'm going to put some acetate in there so you can fill it there's the inside there that's my top and there's the bottom that I made the bottom with and then they marry up nicely together like so so you've got the nice interior to the box there which you can fill up it doesn't really matter if it's on the back if you want you can print both sides on that piece of card uh, it's entirely up to you you can mix and match the designs that we've given you so I think that looks really nice now if you want to put an aperture if you want to put acetate inside there the way I do it is I use my, you can either make a print off another one and uh, just uh, cut it a bit smaller because you want it smaller to fit in there. Or you can just take your old template and I just take a pair of scissors and then I just cut out, cut out because I'm going to throw this one away next. I'm just cutting it a little bit smaller on the inside there. I've stuck it down onto this piece of acetate here and then I can just cut around the inside of the main diamond shape you know what it's too small and you just want to take off enough so it fits in easily so that's going to go down there let me just pull that away and let's cut the last bit off here make sure 
to all that this together and it doesn't matter if it's not exactly the right size so that can come off there you can save that for doing others so you don't have to do it with everyone got a little bit of masking tape on there and take off ah, come on off you get there you go now that's going to fit in there first of all just fit the just try it out see that it does fit it just needs a little bit taking off the edge there so again there just trim it up just cutting a little sliver off there see if that fits better now there you go fits perfectly now all you've got to do is take your glue and you don't need to cover the whole lot i just put some little dabs of glue there just where it's, the corners are, it's a little bit thicker. There in the middle especially. Down there, maybe a little bit extra down the edge there. Just put some little globs of glue. And just a little bit there and swipe it off. And then take your acetate and just pop that carefully in there. You don't want the glue smearing all over it. Just press that down. I'll let that dry a few seconds. I'll just pop that to one side where it's dry and I'll just explain what I'm doing next. With all the leftover bits, I'm just showing you what you can do. I've taken some of the designs that we did a few weeks ago. So don't forget, you can go over the old projects I've been doing and print off. You might like some of the Christmas designs from there. You've got loads on there now. Uh, I've done it doing a top and a bottom in this beautiful stitched poinsettia. And I'm going to show you how to apply the diamond cutouts to give you that effect as well. So this is stuck down now. This is stuck. So I need to take my base and that needs to be then just filled up like that. Now, can I just give you a tip here? If you're making demonstrations and you want them to look really nice and you fill them up with chocolates and that, don't be surprised if when you come back, Barry's at them all. My friend Rosho... Ferrer Rocher, even. Uh, Ferre Rocher, Rocher. Ferre Rocher, chocolate, chocolate, all disappeared. I've got wrappers everywhere. So my beautiful, as I said, I've got wrappers everywhere. That was a, a roses. Hey, they don't, I pack them different now, don't they? Mm -hmm. Is that the roses packet? Gosh. Anyway, you've got this here. You can fill that with whatever you want. And again, they would look great. Well, I've got some more samples to show you. I'll show you those in a bit. So that's the two we've made. I'm making one more from the same template, just to give you a bit of inspiration. So I'll go ahead and make these in exactly the same way that we made the others. And then we'll join you in a minute. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Let's have a quick chat before we carry on. We've been making those first two diamond uh, boxes. Now I'm making a third one. If you have a look here... I've made this one. I used some of the card that we used in the uh, attempt, uh, project a couple of weeks ago. And I've made this box here, as you can see, using the stitched poinsettias. Now, if you remember, when we made this one, we cut all the sections out of the middle here to make that diamond box effect. I've got all the pieces here now. I'm going to use those to decorate this box. A good idea is just your template that you've got if you just put that in front of where you're working, that'll just help you position everything. So then it's just a question of taking one at a time and just sticking those down, whichever way you want to do it. I've just got a little bit of glue on that one. And I can see that's going to go there. So that's going to be in the middle. So if you get that one right to start off with, then the others should fit perfectly bit of glue there but I'll wipe that off later then take the next one and I say if you line it up like that it makes it easier to assemble because you've got something to follow that's going to fit there so I need to make sure that fits on the top and it's straight and I've got the next one a little bit of glue that's going to fit on there like that and then I'm going to do these next sections here because they'll it just it just builds up naturally if you do it step by step 
that one's going to go about there like that I'll scrape these bits of glue off later can you see that all right can you see what it is there you go stick down there like so you watched the last leg last night didn't you maybe why did you? I did. Mm -hmm. I know no fear. It's going to stick down there. Is it funny how you go quiet when you're crafting? Look a bit more glue. And because this glue's got some wiggle time, if it's not exactly in the right position, you've got a little bit of time to jiggle it about a bit or wiggle it about uh, before it completely dries but the great thing is with this glue it's got it sticks sticks it in position while it's drying so you've got no fear of it sliding around really grips the two pieces of paper now i'm going to clean that up when it's dried completely but there you can go there you go you can see that I've taken those leftovers and used them to decorate that front of that design there. So we've had a busy morning, haven't we? So you've had one template and you've got a few options here of what to do. First thing we made was the basic box. There's the basic box. I'll just move that out of the way. Basic box and from that template you can make various things. Uh, I don't know, Barry, could you just bring me the other samples through the, from the other room? It's all right, you can leave it on here for now, but you can just get them. Just to, It's good when you're in the studio, you've got a little runner. Little runner? Who's my little runner then? There you go, there's the first one we made. There's the second one we made. Same template, but this time cutting the apertures out and printing onto a piece of card and using that on the inside and not the outside. And then finally, all of the bits and pieces we have left over from that we've put into that as well now once you've got that basic template you can oh gosh i found a chocolate box that's actually got some chocolates in it oh he's on his way back he's going to do he's going to find out oi what are you doing chucking them at me like that get your off distraction distraction right there's another version there that's the silver box there i made and this has got some of the embellishments on uh, you can see there you've got the diamonds and what have you, that's done in silver. This is one of the same boxes like this one, but this one has got uh, the white interior. But this one I've put some of the uh, self-adhesive gems on there. You can get these very easily at uh, a certain pound shop. Uh, they go a long way, but if you use them sp sparingly, uh, you can do that. And what else have I got? Oh, there's another version there. Of the one similar to this one where they took the bits and pieces and just stuck them on the top there like that and decorated up so let's just position these i'm not putting the chocolates near him oh that's the other thing you can do don't forget you could use these on a christmas tree uh you, you could use them to create a christmas tree like that you can put a top and a bottom and do them both with the apertures and you can create a box that see through both sides and that one you could put on its side like that, stained glass it maybe, or you could hang it on a Christmas tree or just hang it, fill it full of goodies, etc. Or you could again, you could stand it up like that and it just fits one of the battery operated candles and it looks really nice when that's lit up so you can make a row of these. Uh, those are your boxes. It's a diamond shaped box that we've worked on this week. Now I just want to tell you a little bit about next week. We've got a, a special show. It's got uh, it's got loads and loads of downloads, but we're making a special card. Those who are crafting here have got something special to work on that I've made for them, but you won't be able to see that until next week. And uh, what else is happening? The following week, it's going to be a show. Obviously, it's the day. It's the Christmas. It's the Saturday before Christmas. I will not be here, but I will be in Italy. But I may do a live show from there. Yet we're just looking at it. And if not, we've got some recorded bits that can go on there as well. But hopefully we'll be live. We're going to do a demonstration and it's inspired from the place we'll be filming from. 
allegedly, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks for joining this week. If you've got any messages, do let us know. Don't forget there is a fantastic star buy on alanbarry.co.uk, which is all gem templates. This is just one of the uh, templates from that set. And you can get these in all different sizes, lots of different shapes and designs and that you can have a good look at. Uh, so we'll see you next week, uh, one way or another. Uh, Tara for now. Are you saying Tara? Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs>